Yeah, we go. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Rodrigo. How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. Thanks, teacher. Uh, I have a good day. Um, <clears throat> I work in, in the company from 7 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m. o'clock. Um, after work, uh, review the, the exercise of the platform and after rest. And I'm ready for to learn in this class. Very good. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. Very good. I'm happy that you had a nice day and that you also studied. That's very good. Very good. Good job. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you, Rodrigo, for sharing with the class. I'm really happy to see you guys again. I hope that you guys had a nice day, just like Rodrigo, and that you guys had the opportunity to get some rest. That's important too, right? I mean, we have we are doing a lot of things all the time and then sometimes we forget to relax and just to get some rest and that is something important too, right? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué tal los demás? ¿Cómo están? Cuéntenme. ¿Qué tal uh, Marlon, Stephanie? ¿Cómo están? Herson, Lisbeth. How are you guys doing today? Anything interesting, guys? Did you do something interesting, something exciting today? Or maybe during the weekend? Did you go somewhere? Or did you just stay at home and then just, just did nothing, for example? And that's fine. I mean, we can do we can just do nothing sometimes. Something that I really like is to watch like movies or TV. TV shows. Uh, that's something that I really like. I used to exercise before, but now I'm. I don't have like too much time, so I don't do it that much anymore. But ex, I mean, exercise is something good. It's something that can keep you healthy. And when you get older, because I can remember that when I was younger. I didn't have all these, uh, I mean, I was really skinny. I was really skinny when I was younger, but now um, I have gained weight, like maybe like 10 pounds. I'm not fat. I'm not like obese or anything like that. But I, I think that as you get older, then things change. Your body changes. So I think that you guys, if you have the opportunity to exercise, maybe like go for a walk or you like uh, to dance, or things like that, you can do that. Vamos a ver, eh, bienvenidos a los que acaban de llegar. Muchas gracias. It's nice to see you guys. Nice to see Good you evening. again. Good evening, Leisano. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Awesome. Really happy to see you. Thank you, thank you for coming, Leisano. Thank you. Muy bien. Me alegra, me alegra bastante verlos, la verdad. Hoy en día eh, suceden tantas cosas, ¿verdad? Que de repente uno, pues, no sabe. Así que me, me alegra bastante ver que están acá y que están bien. So, guys, um, this is like the third week, right? We only have uh, these uh, four, class, four more classes for this week. And then we have the next week is going to be like, like the final week for this uh, module. So, we are almost almost uh, done. I mean, we are like in the middle. So we are doing a great job. And I encourage you guys to keep doing a, a great job, like always, right? Let's keep up, let's keep up the good work, okay? Let's keep, let's keep up doing that. Right, so, eh, para esta semana, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer nosotros? Eh, ya pasamos la sección, eh, la 1, la 2, hicimos el examen de medio plazo. Entonces, para esta semana nos toca la sección 3. Eso es lo que vamos a estar viendo para esta semana. So, vamos a ver. ¿Qué podemos hacer por acá? 
Section four, Section four. Section four. I, I, is, is that, is that correct? Oh, let me, yes, you're right. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> I got confused. Thank you, Lisano. Thank you, Norma. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I don't know why, but I was thinking about section three. I don't know why. I'm, I got confused. But yeah, that's right. Uh, we need to work on section four. And then we only have section five that is going to be next week. And then we finish. That's going to be it. That's going to be. So we are almost done, guys. All right. So last week, guys, what did we what did we learn uh, last week? Uh, what do you guys uh, what do you guys remember from last week? What kind of things did we talk about last week? We talked about many things, right? We we talk about most most of all we talk about like celebrations like do you remember like weddings and birthday parties and that kind of things so what do you guys remember about that? ¿Qué recuerdan ustedes de la semana pasada? ¿Qué fue lo que hicimos? ¿Qué me pueden contar? ¿Qué aprendimos la semana pasada? ¿Se acuerdan de algunas palabras raras que vimos por ahí? Teníamos algunas palabras extrañas, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, shrine. And it's that kind of things. Do you remember that, guys? Do you remember that? Um, I remember the last class, teacher, uh, adverbial clause, mm -hmm. uh, for example, of time. Mm -hmm. um, for example, after um um after he did the homework uh, he went to play soccer for example uh, use a uh, adverbial clause that is correct very good job very good job rodrigo that is correct thank you muy bien muchas gracias eh, como dice rodrigo correcto fue parte de lo que vimos verdad las eh, cláusulas adverbiales de tiempo so just like rodrigo said uh so we said that we have uh, that uh, kind of sentences. Basically, we have two sentences together. And <clears throat> excuse me, guys. So we have the uh, main sentence or the main clause, and then we have the dependent sentence. So we have a different kind of uh, clauses, but we discussed the adver adverbial clauses of time like with that kind of expressions like rodrigo said like after before when and that kind of things right so that's something that we learned last week very good very good vamos a ver eso era como la parte de, de la gramática ¿verdad? yo eh, déjeme decirle algo guys cuando yo estaba estudiando inglés hace tiempo eh, yo realmente habían cosas que no <laughs> quizás nunca logré entender uh, entonces, <ríe> por ejemplo, lo de las cláusulas, yo antes no sabía qué eran. Era como que, bueno, ¿qué es una cláusula? Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pero ahora creo que con ustedes, y me gusta bastante, ustedes lo han eh, entendido muy bien, muy, muy fácil, muy rápido. Y pues trato también de explicárselo siempre de una forma sencilla, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes lo puedan entender, que no tengan problemas. Entonces, están haciendo un muy buen trabajo, guys, muy bien. Me gusta. Very good, very good. Vamos a ver. So that's a couple of things that we learned last week. So this week, guys, we're going to uh, we're going to uh, learn uh, something new. We're going to work in this uh, new topic. So like Lisano said, we are going to get into section number four. Okay. So as you can as you can see here, uh, let me I'm gonna share the screen with you. Oh, just a moment, guys. Please bear with me. I want to make sure that I can share the screen with you, just in case. So we have section number four, and the name of the section is Back to the Future. Have you ever seen that movie, guys? Back to the Future? Maybe some of you have not, have never seen that movie, because, I mean, it, it, it is an old movie. But I really liked it when I was young, when I was a kid. I really yes, like I it. do. 
Have you have you seen that movie? Yes, I do. It was good. Okay. The first and the the second is good, but the third, I don't like it. I okay, I see. So so you have seen that movie, but you and you like the first one and the second one, but the third one you didn't like it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I see. Very good, Marlon. Very good. Yeah, they. I, I like them. Uh, to be honest with you, I just remember the third one and the second one, but I can remember the third one. Uh, I'm not really sure, of, like, what is the the story for the third movie. I, I don't know. I can't remember. But I remember I remember when I was a kid, and I really liked it because it was like uh, this car that you can travel uh, to the future or to the past. And that was really exciting to me. I mean, I, I really... Uh, you know, when you are a uh, kid, you have like like this imagination and you think that you can uh, do all these things. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to travel maybe in the future and do that kind of things. <laughs> so I don't know if that's something that happened to you guys. <laughs> bueno, cuando yo estaba eh, pequeño, yo veía, veía estas películas, la verdad. Y a mí siempre, creo que mi, uno de mis géneros favoritos de, de películas creo que es quizás la ciencia ficción. Entonces esta película de Back to the Future, ¿no? para, las que no, para los que no la han visto, eh, o tal vez no se saben el nombre así, es este, esa película donde hay un auto que pueden viajar al, al futuro o al pasado. Está el, el doctor, creo que se llama, doctor, ¿Ya? creo que sí. Eh, está el profesor. Doctor, profesor, no, no me acuerdo, la verdad. Y está Marty, Marty, ¿sí? sí me acuerdo. Entonces, ellos tienen este, este carro con el que pueden viajar al pasado o al futuro. ¿verdad? Entonces, era de pequeño, la verdad que lo veía y me gustaba bastante. Yo como que quería, eh, pensaba que podía quizás algún día hacer eso. Como viajar en el futuro, ir al pasado, ir al presente. Entonces, era bien, bien interesante. So, basically, that is uh, the reason why we, we have this uh, title for section number four, because we are going to talk about these kind of things like the present, uh, the past, the future, that kind of things like this. Uh, we have the objective. It says, in this class, you will be exposed to an audio where examples of past, present, and future tenses are used. Okay, mira que interesante. Aquí ya vamos a como mezclar todo, ¿verdad? Vamos a mezclar la parte de el presente eh, la parte del presente la parte del pasado también y el futuro, entonces vamos a utilizar todos esos tiempos, así que eh, va a ser un poco más complejo, ¿verdad? ya no vamos a estar como antes quizás que siempre utilizábamos solamente un tiempo, que era como que ah, so I can read, I brush my teeth every day and then I take a shower and then I get dressed I, I eat breakfast, things like that So we're not going to do that. We're going to like basically uh, use more information so we can talk about the past, the present, and the future. Así que vamos a ver. Bueno, entonces lo primero que tenemos acá es eh, esta conversación que se llama This Neighborhood Has Changed. Bueno, entonces eh, creo que todos estamos eh, claros, ¿verdad? Respecto a esto. Estamos hablando en este caso acerca de este vecindario, por así decirlo, ha cambiado. Entonces la conversación va enfocada a eso. So we have uh, some people here in the conversation. They are talking about how uh, their neighborhood has changed. And this is something that happens. I mean, like, for example, where I live, a lot of things have changed. And I can imagine that it's the same thing for you guys. Like, for example, there may be more uh, businesses. There may be more, like, maybe companies uh, coming to uh, your neighborhood, things like that. Maybe there may be a pharmacy that there wasn't there before, or there may be other things that did not exist in the past, let's say. Así que vamos a hablar de eso. Vamos a hablar acerca de eso. Bueno, primero eh, les quería presentar esta parte. Vamos a pasar por acá. Uh, le, voy a le voy a compartir esta presentación. 
So we have like this uh, little definition. This, this is not really important, guys. This is just so you can have an idea uh, in case that you have questions about it. I just wanted to show you this, you know. So it says, uh, your neighborhood is the local area where you live. It is the place that is within walking distance of your home. So your neighborhood includes the local stores and shops that you might use regularly. The people who live near you, your neighbors, and other places that you see or visit. You might have lived in your neighborhood all your life or just for a short time. Wherever you live right now, the surrounding area is your neighborhood. Entonces aquí tenemos la definición, ¿verdad? Solamente para que tengamos un poco más claro, podamos este, ir comprendiendo bien eh, a qué nos estamos refiriendo. Dice, eh, tu vecindario es la, el, el área local donde tú vives. Eh, es el lugar que está dentro de una distancia eh, eh, caminando de, de tu hogar. Eh, tu vecindario incluye las tiendas locales y, bueno, eh, shops podría ser como tiendas también, tiendas o negocios, digamos, que puedes utilizar regularmente. Las personas que viven cerca de ti, eh, tus vecinos y otros lugares que tú ves o visitas. Dice, eh, puede que hayas vivido en tu vecindario toda tu vida o solamente por un eh, tiempo corto. Eh, donde sea que tú vivas en este momento, justo ahora, eh, el área de alrededor es tu vecindario. Okay? So, basically, guys, uh, we have like this definition that says that it doesn't matter really if you live in this place. Just Let's say that you just moved in uh, to a new house, like maybe one or two months ago. That is still your neighborhood because that's where you live right now. So and maybe uh, you have lived in the same place like all your life, but maybe you just moved in uh, to, to this new house. And uh, even though uh, you just moved in, uh, that's still like your neighborhood because that's where you live. Bueno, entonces tenemos acá la definición, ¿verdad? No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta o algo. Que, es, que Espero que ustedes se vayan imaginando desde ya cosas acerca de donde ustedes viven, digamos su vecindario, por así decirlo, y que puedan pensar en qué cosas podemos decir acerca de eh, del lugar donde vivimos. Eh, como les mencioné antes, verdad, yo por ejemplo pudiera decir que donde vivo muchas cosas han cambiado. Por ejemplo, antes eh, no habían tantos negocios como ahora. Ahora hay más personas también viviendo eh, por acá. Entonces uh, Podemos decir eso, que es un lugar más concurrido, que hay más negocios, eh, ese tipo de cosas. Eh, por ejemplo, también pudiéramos hablar acerca de la criminalidad, o sea, cómo ha cambiado quizás de antes a ahora. Yo en particularmente eh, sí creo que ha mejorado, al menos donde yo vivo. Antes era un poquito más, eh, digamos, no tan seguro, por así decirlo. Pero con el tiempo pues se ha, ha mejorado ese tema, ¿verdad? Ha sido un poco más es más tranquilo. Entonces, eh, todas esas cosas nosotros podemos hablar acerca de nuestro vecindario, ¿ok? Para contar, pues, eh, describir un poco, eso es, es lo que vamos a intentar hacer, poder describir eh, cómo es el lugar donde vivimos, en términos de todas estas cosas, de qué es lo que hay, de todas esas características que, puede, que pudiera tener. So, we have uh, here, it says, uh, things in your neighborhood. So, vamos a ver, pues creo que le voy a pedir que me ayuden para que podamos participar todos y para que sea más. Vamos a ver, eh, Rodrigo, uh, could you please help me? Uh, could, you uh, could you help me uh, read the first paragraph, please? Okay, um, depending on where your life there could be different things mm -hmm. in your neighborhood to anyone else neighborhood. Okay, so depending on where you live, okay, live. There could live. be, there could be, could be. Could be. 
That is correct. There we go. Recordemos que esta parte, eh, por ejemplo, aquí, live, estamos hablando de, de vivir, ¿verdad? Tenemos dos cosas, de hecho. Uh, por ejemplo, tenemos eh, vivir y tenemos, por ejemplo, cuando decimos en vivo, ¿verdad? Pero son cosas diferentes. Entonces se pronuncian de formas diferentes también. Tenemos uh, live y tenemos live, like uh, Facebook live or things like that, right? Uh, then we have there could be, eh, es como les digo siempre, ¿verdad? Estos verbos modales como could and would se pronuncian como que si no tuviera la O ni la L, sino que solamente C, U, D. Like could, would, should, just like that. Okay, so uh, there could be different things in your neighborhood to anyone else's neighborhood. Okay, so that is true. I mean, at the end, uh, unless we live in the same place, I think that there are going to be like different things, right? Maybe I can tell you that here where I live, uh, there may be something that you don't have in your neighborhood. So that's something that could happen. Then he says, um, vamos a ver. Uh, this is, uh, bueno, a local neighborhood in a small town in England will be very different from a neighborhood in India or Japan, for example. But some things are the same. So let's take a look at some uh, most at the most common things you can find in many neighborhoods around the world. Vale, aquí tenemos una lista, guys, de algunos lugares que son los más comunes prácticamente en todos los lugares, ¿verdad? Tenemos entonces por acá convenience store, a supermarket, post, uh, post office, the park, uh, local shops, houses, apartments, uh, police station, bus stop, Uh, well, it depends where you live. Uh, there may be a subway station, but that is not really something that we have. Then we have a coffee, uh, cafe or a coffee shop. Okay, we have a cafe or a coffee shop. They are like two different things, right? And then we have restaurants. We have clinic, hospital, a community center, church, bakery, a, a gym, a shopping center or a mall, fire station, a school, a bank, grocery store, and a library. So we have all these different things, right? So, vamos a ir desde ya como observando estas palabras. Traten de pensar en cuáles ustedes tienen en, en su vecindario, por así decirlo, donde ustedes viven. Eh, vamos a ver, eh, por acá. Y por, eh, bueno, no sé si quieren tal vez... Eh, tomar una captura o tal vez anotarlo, porque si es así lo dejo un momento más por acá, si no pues podemos avanzar, no sé bueno, si estamos bien entonces vamos a avanzar, guys, vamos a continuar so, uh, tenemos todos estos eh, estos lugares que les acabo de colocar acá en esta, esta este cuadro entonces acá tenemos ejemplos aplicando eh, algunos de estos lugares. Por ejemplo, tenemos eh, number one, it says uh, convenience store. So I go to, uh, I'm sorry, I go to my local convenience, uh, convenience store about four times a week. I usually buy milk or some snacks there. Estas son las tiendas de conveniencia, ¿verdad? Son tiendas como pequeñas donde hay pues, algunos productos básicos. Entonces dice acá, so, uh, yo voy a mi tienda de conveniencia local eh, aproximadamente cuatro veces a la semana. ¿okay? Eh, usualmente compro leche o algunas, eh, digamos, bueno, lo podemos decir snack, a veces lo decimos así nosotros, o pudiéramos decir unas meriendas o un bocadillo, no sé, algo por el estilo. Eh, then we have a supermar uh, supermarket, it says uh, we have two large supermarkets near where we live. They have everything we need for our daily lives. Okay, so this is something different here. We have lives, right? We don't have lives. This is lives because we're talking about something different. Así que vayamos observando bien eh, todas estas cosas, guys. Veamos cómo nosotros podemos ir describiendo estos lugares que se encuentran en nuestro vecindario. Okay. Vamos a ver, eh, necesito que ustedes me ayuden a leer algunos de los siguientes, por favor. 
Vamos a ver, así que vamos a hacerlo como voluntarios. Ustedes pueden levantar la mano. Por ahí está Rodrigo. Y tenemos a Mauricio. Vamos a ir, eh, por favor, leyendo uno por uno. Entonces vamos a empezar con Rodrigo, después eh, Mauricio y después Wendy. Vamos a ver, so you can go ahead. Creo que teníamos a Rodrigo por ahí, ¿verdad? Rodrigo Hernández, si no me equivoco. So, Rodrigo, uh, can you hear? Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Maybe something happened. To... Oh, there, there you are. So, Rodrigo, can you hear me? If you can hear me, Rodrigo, we cannot hear you. I'm, I'm not able to hear you right, right now. We can barely hear you. I, I can hear you, but very little. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Rodrigo. I appreciate that. Thank you. No, vamos entonces. Por aquí teníamos. ¿Quién más? Era. Déjenme ver. Ah, tenemos a Mauricio. Go ahead, Mauricio. Go for okay. it. Okay. Uh, supermarket, we have two. Langers supermarkets uh, near to where we live. Uh, and they have everything we need for our daily lives. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mauricio. And uh, let, let me ask you something. Uh, so, Mauricio, um, or Jeffrey, if you want, uh, do you have a supermarket near to where you live? And if so, what kind of no, things no. do you what kind of things do you buy there? In supermarket. Yep. Uh, well, when I go to supermarket, I usually buy a, a soda and a snacks. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds like uh, a snack. Yep. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right, so we can continue. We have Wendy. Post office. There is small post office near my house. It's small, but it can take care of any deliveries. Okay, very good. Uh, so, Wendy, have you ever used uh, the post office service? Like, have you ever uh, sent any packages or have you ever received any packages from uh, someone, maybe? Receive package. Oh, really? Okay. Very good. Very good. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, Wendy. Vamos ahora con eh, Margarita. Vamos a ver. Tenemos el park. Park. We have a nice park in our neighborhood. It is a nice little sanctuary in the middle of the city. Okay. Very good. Uh, so, Margarita, let me ask you something. Uh, do you like to go to the park? And if that is the case, uh, what kind of things do you do when you go to the park? Uh, do you go for a walk or do you go uh, like with friends or things like that? What kind of things do you do? Uh, yes, I go to the park with my daughter. Mm -hmm. And frequently, I we go to the park on Friday because she loved, she loved to play in the park. I see. Very good. So usually you go to the park on Friday. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Margarita. Thank you. Good job. Bueno, vamos entonces ahora con, tenemos a Norma Lizano. Okay. House. My neighborhood is in the suburb. So there are many houses here. It is residential area. ¿Cómo se dice? Area. 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 Okay, so my neighborhood is in the suburbs. So, there are many houses here. It is a residential area. So, one more time. Uh, Norma, please. One more time. Okay. House. My neighborhood is in the suburb. Mm -hmm. So, there are many houses here. It mm -hmm. is a residential area. 
Okay, very good, very good. Thank you so much, uh, Lisano. So, uh, let me ask you something, uh, Lisano. Is your house, um, let me let me see. <laughs> so, is your house like in the city, uh, or is the house is your house, uh, located like somewhere else? Uh, where do you live, Lisano? I live in the city. You live in the city, okay? Do you live in yes. San Salvador, for example, or? In Apopa. In Apopa, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. That's a nice place. I, I remember that I used to, like, sometimes go there uh, because of my job. So it, it is a, a nice place. I like, like, uh, I mean, Pericentro, Apopa. It's really nice. Yes, yes, in Pericentro, huh? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay, thank you, Lisano. Thank you. Okay. Oh, so right, tenemos a Lisbeth por acá. Lisbeth dice apartment. So, or police station. You can choose which, whichever you want to. Actually, you can say whatever you want to. We have three options uh, left, so you can use uh, whatever option you want. Apartments. Uh, as we live in the city center, most people in our neighborhood live in apartments. Okay, very good. So, Lisbeth, uh, what do you think about apartments? Uh, do you, would you like to live in an apartment or what, what do you think about them? I live in a countryside, so there's no apartments here, but but I think I will like to live there. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, apartments can be like uh, good for people, like small families, right? Maybe if you only have, uh, if you are single or if you have maybe just, uh, your your couple or things like that they may be good right but if you have like a big family and if you have a small apartment then uh, that may not be so good right so it, it depends it depends most a lot of people like it uh, like apartments i mean uh, for example when i was younger i used to like apartments more and i wanted to have an apartment i actually uh, some friends and me, uh, we actually thought about it, like having uh, an, an, our own apartment and just like live together and things like that. But that's something that uh, never actually happened. But, you know, uh, it depends. I think that it depends. Bueno, muy bien, guys. Eh, muchas gracias a todos por participar, como siempre. Que vamos, vamos viendo, ¿verdad? Este, es como les estaba mencionando. Son lugares bastante comunes en algunos vecindarios, que pueden estar en su vecindario miren, tenemos por acá también eh, la parada de buses, esto es bueno, acá en nuestro país lo tenemos bastante y dice, por ejemplo if I need to get into town I have to take a bus but there is a bus uh, there is a bus stop just down the road from my house ok, entonces eh, si necesito eh, entrar al, al, a la ciudad o al pueblo, tengo que tomar un bus, ok I have to take a bus Okay, so you take the bus. But there is a bus stop just down the road from my house. Okay, una parada de buses eh, al final de, del camino de, de, de mi casa, por ejemplo. Así pudiéramos decirlo. Entonces, tenemos todos estos lugares. Eh, ustedes vayan pensándolo porque yo creo que ustedes me digan más. O sea, que puedan eh, como describir todas estas cosas que ustedes tienen en su vecindario. Okay, entonces ahora vamos a ver por acá el video que corresponde a esta parte vamos a, vamos a ver el video guys it's a short video it only lasts one minute and 18 seconds so it's very short we're going to watch the video and then um, we're going to see how they uh, describe uh, changes to their neighborhood uh, using different time uh, tenses uh, like time expressions and you will see that in the video okay so we're going to listen to the video and then we will talk about it after that. Vamos a ver si carga. <laughs> Ahí está. Did you get it? There we go. It took some time, but it worked. So that's good. Let me just go back. Just want to play it from the beginning. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, so guys, is uh, this is just not loading. So let me just go ahead and reload the page. That's that's so that's uh, I mean, this is something that happens sometimes. So let me just go ahead and reload the page really quick. Okay, there we go. So it should work this time. Did you? Oh my goodness. There we go. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. All right, so guys, we're going to listen to the conversation one more time, okay? Just one more time. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, People walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. All right, so uh, there we go, guys. We have uh, Tania and we have Matt. They are talking about their neighborhood. Okay, it seems like they have lived in the same uh, place for a long time, okay? So we have um, Tania says, uh, this neighborhood sure has changed. Uh, then Matt says, I know, a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. So like I mentioned before, right? This is something that happens like here where I live. There didn't, uh, I mean, not many people live here either, right? And probably this is something that happens uh, in your neighborhood too. Because population is growing so fast these days. That's, that's true. Uh, I think that uh, people... I mean, have a lot of babies uh, so these days, and but not not as many as before, maybe. But a population is still growing, right? And you know that's the reason why population is growing so fast. Bueno, eh, bueno, acá tenemos dice este este vecindario eh, de, en verdad que ha cambiado, en verdad que ha cambiado. Y dice lo sé, hace unos cuantos años atrás. No muchas personas vivían aquí, pero la, la población está creciendo muy rápido estos días. Okay? Uh, luego dice, yeah, it seems like there is a construction site on every corner. Parece que hay un eh, sitio de construcción en cada... Remember how we used to buy candy at the little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Okay? Eh, ¿Recuerdas cómo solíamos... Okay, so how we used to buy candy? ¿Cómo solíamos co eh, comprar dulces en esa pequeña tienda de comestibles, okay? Grocery store. Tenemos a convenience store and we also have grocery store. Eh, la, la grocery store es la tienda de comestibles, okay? Eh, dice, ahora es un cine, un cine multiple, multiplex. Eh, dice, yeah, and they are tearing down our high school. Básicamente están derribando, okay? Tearing down nuestra secundaria, por así decirlo, o nuestro bachillerato, ¿ok? Eh, they are going to build a shopping mall, and soon there will be just uh, malls and parking lots. Si se fijan, aquí vamos usando diferentes tiempos, ¿verdad? Ya hemos hablado que hace unos años no muchas personas vivían aquí, estamos hablando en el pasado. Luego dice, pero la población está creciendo 
presente continuo, ¿verdad? Algo que está pasando en este momento y que tiene continuidad. Dice, uh, remember how we used to buy candy? En el pasado también, ¿verdad? Solíamos hacer algo. Luego dice, uh, otra vez, they are tearing down our high school. Que okay, están haciendo algo en este momento. Y dice, they are going to build a shopping mall. Que okay, van a construir eh, un centro comercial, básicamente. Dice, uh, soon there will be just malls and parking lots, ¿ok? Básicamente, basado en lo que nosotros estamos viendo, podemos hacer una predicción, ¿verdad? Utilizamos el futuro aquí, si se fijan. Que pronto solo habrán eh, centros comerciales y estacionamientos. Parking lots, ¿ok? Parking lots. And, well, that's something that really happens these days, right? Uh, I think that people have uh, almost everyone has a car these days uh, and because of that they build all these uh, parking lots and also all these uh, malls because we like to buy things we like to do that right we like to go shopping so it says uh, that's because everyone has a car 50 years ago people walked everywhere nowadays they drive entonces, bueno, esto es lo que vamos a intentar hacer nosotros, guys. Vamos a intentar in, integrar todos estos diferentes tiempos verbales para que ustedes puedan describir cambios, más que todo eh, en sus comunidades, ¿ok? Esa es como la meta de esta lección, ¿ok? Así que eso es lo que vamos a intentar hacer. Entonces, vamos a intentar hablar acerca de cómo eran las cosas antes, eh, qué es lo que está pasando ahora, qué es lo que la gente hace ahora y qué es lo que creemos que va a pasar o lo que va a pasar ok bueno entonces eh, creo que nos ha quedado claro acá eh, alguna pregunta any questions about this if we don't have any questions we can just uh, continue we can uh, we can finish the video we can just uh, finish watching the video All right so if we don't have any questions uh, let's go what else has changed in their neighborhood well What about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, so there we go. So that's the object, you guys, that you can say that kind of things using the simple past and also the future. That's what we are looking for. So it says here, at the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contrast between the past, present, and future. Bueno, todos estos tiempos ustedes ya los han visto, okay? Ya vimos el pasado simple, ya vimos el presente, el presente continuo, y el futuro, okay? Entonces, eh, deberíamos de poder nosotros ya eh, hablar acerca de este tipo de cosas, okay? Bueno, vamos a ver un poquito más aquí de refuerzo para que ustedes eh, puedan prepararse un poco más y puedan describir de mejor forma eh, estos cambios, ¿ok? Vamos a ver este otro video. Es corto también, así que lo vamos a ver rapidito. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. All right, guys, so what can you guys see from this? We have this time contrast. So we have the past, we have the present, and we have the future. 
So we have basically like the same uh, situation, but we can see the contrast using uh, different tenses, right? Like for example, people uh, today shop at supermarkets. And in the past, people used to shop at grocery stores, okay? And in the future, in 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. Básicamente estamos haciendo un contraste, ¿verdad? Ustedes piensen en eso ahora. Piensen en cosas, ¿cómo suceden en este momento? ¿Cómo eran en el pasado? ¿Y cómo creen ustedes que serán en el futuro? Tratemos de pensar en eso. Vamos a intentar nosotros eh, hacer esta parte, ¿ok? Piensen acerca de algo en sus comunidades. Vaya, por ejemplo, pudiéramos decir algo. Eh, yo, yo, bueno, eh, hay un, un, un tema, por ejemplo, los videojuegos. Vea, veamos esa parte. Eh, antes las personas eh, o los niños, por ejemplo, jugaban videojuegos en las casas de sus amigos, por ejemplo, quienes sí tenían una consola para videojuegos, o tal vez en estos lugares donde tenían como las máquinas y todo eso, ¿verdad? Eh, luego Ahora, pues ya se juega o sea, en el teléfono, qué sé yo. Y tal vez en el futuro sea otra cosa, ¿verdad? Puede ser que sea realidad virtual, que es una cosa que ya se está, como, que se ha intentado hacer, y que puede que tal vez en el futuro sea más, eh, se desarrolle más, tal vez. Entonces, nosotros podemos plantear ese tipo de escenarios, ¿verdad? Como los que tenemos acá. Miren, dice aquí, dice, nowadays uh, people drive their cars instead. And 50 years ago, people walked everywhere, right? Because we didn't have cars, so we walked everywhere. And in the future, people are going to use cars even more, okay? And that's, uh, I think that that's true, right? Because uh, things will be less expensive. So there will be a point where I think that probably almost everyone will have a car. You know, like maybe 20 years ago or maybe 50 years ago, cars were really expensive. But now, things have changed. Así que vamos a ver, eh, ¿qué me pueden decir ustedes, guys, acerca de esto? ¿Algún ejemplo que quieran compartir con la clase? Vamos a ver. Any situation that you guys can think of? Miren las expresiones que tenemos aquí también. Tenemos acá, a few years ago. También tenemos, people used to do something. Okay? People used to do something in the past. Or 50 years ago. Okay? If we want to be specific, we can say like 12 years ago. Pensemos en otra cosa, vaya. La música, por ejemplo. ¿Cómo es la música? ¿Cómo escucha la gente música y cómo la escuchábamos antes? Antes nosotros íbamos ahí, ¿verdad? Y descargábamos. Nuestras canciones de, de ese programa. <ríe> Un montón de virus descargábamos, pero descargábamos una canción también. Entonces, hacíamos eso antes, like maybe 20 years ago. We used to download our music from a, a program, like a computer program. Uh, nowadays, people listen to their music online. And then, uh, in the future, Uh, people may pay a subscription or I, I don't know, something like that. I'm just trying to think about something that may happen in the future. Entonces tenemos diferentes expresiones, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que tienen que hacer ustedes. Eh, hace unos años, estos días, hoy, en, eh, en estos días, y luego para el futuro vamos a decir soon there will be or in 20 years people might do something. In the future, people are going to Fíjense en las expresiones que tenemos acá. ¿Alguna pregunta, guys, hasta ahora? Any questions about this? Um, I, I have a three examples, teacher. Okay, um, very good. Very okay, good. for example, mm -hmm. um, a few years ago, my neighborhood it was dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, but this day is better because I can't walk in the street 
more sure. Mm -hmm. And there will be more people awake from home in the night. Very good, very good example, Rodrigo. So uh, we can say like these days, uh, could, you, could you repeat it one more time, uh, one, please? Yes. Sorry about um, For example, in the past, uh, mm -hmm. A few years ago, my day, my neighborhood, it was dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, this day is better. This day is better. Better, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because I can to walk in the street more sure. Mm -hmm. Vamos a cambiarle solo una cosa nada más. Eh, Rodrigo, eh, mm -hmm. le entiendo que quiere decir que es más seguro, ¿verdad? Entonces, yeah. podemos decir, like, I can walk uh, in the street, like, safely. Veamos. Algo así decimos okay. por lo general cuando queremos uh, referirnos que es más seguro hacer algo. Safely. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. In the future, uh, there will be more. There will be more people away from home. Away from home. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you so much, Rodrigo. Excellent job. Thank you. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you. Bueno, muy bien. Muchas gracias, Rodrigo. Eh, vaya, aquí tenemos un ejemplo muy, bien, muy bueno, ¿verdad? Eh, como dice Rodrigo, hace unos cuantos años mi vecindario era peligroso. Uh, my neighborhood was dangerous. Okay few years ago, but uh, these days it's better because I can walk on the street, digamos, on the street or in the street safely, okay? De forma segura. Recuerden de que tenemos estas expresiones. Estos son los adverbios, ¿verdad? Normalmente los que terminan como, uh, como esta forma, LI, like quickly or slowly, son como adverbios y dijimos que esas palabras le daban significado al verbo, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces estamos hablando de caminar en la calle de forma segura ok, eso es lo que estamos diciendo eh, dice luego in the future there will be more people away from uh, their home, por ejemplo está bien verdad, a medida que la gente se siente más segura pues la gente sale más ok, y eso es cierto también pudiéramos decir que uh, in the future uh, bueno, sí, está siempre relacionado, ¿verdad?, con, con salir, porque estamos hablando de un solo tema en específico. Así que muy bien, muy buen ejemplo, Rodrigo. Vamos a ver, no sé si hay alguien más por allí que tenga algún otro ejemplo que quiera compartir. Vamos a ver, tenemos a Jeffrey. Go ahead, Jeffrey. Ok. Eh... Uh, many people uh, years ago, uh, I'm sorry, many years ago, people used to light a candle to have a light at home. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, uh, mm -hmm. the people uh, have a light electric at home. And in the future, I don't know, how can I... Uh, we we have a light uh, in the future, mm -hmm. but that is my idea. Very good, very good, Jeffrey. Yeah, thank you. Okay, but uh, maybe we can say something like, I don't know, in the future there will be like or people will have uh like a smart uh, devices uh to light their houses. Things like that, maybe uh, something like that, right? I mean, we can just guess something that could happen in the future. Pero muy bien. Yeah. Muy bien, Jeffrey, le entiendo completamente. Sí, en el futuro pudiéramos decir que, por ejemplo, y esto es algo que ya se da, ¿verdad? No sé si ustedes han visto de esas eh, como luces y todo eso que se puede poner en la casa que se conectan ya al Wi-Fi, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos, incluso desde nuestro teléfono, nosotros las eh, controlamos, por ejemplo, controlamos la intensidad, controlamos creo que hasta el, hasta el color y ese tipo de cosas, ¿verdad? 
Entonces puede que en el futuro suceda más de eso. ¿okay? Ya más integrado con el internet yeah. y así, ¿verdad? Have you, have you heard about that, Jeffrey? Uh, which city? <laughs> Or, uh, I don't know uh, what is the, mm -hmm. the city and Alexa. Oh, city and Alexa, right. Yep, that's true. Yep. I mean, you can just talk to Alexa, maybe, and you can say things like, I turn off the lights or things like that, right? I don't know. <laughs> Muy bien, vamos a ver. Isaac quiere decir algo. Vamos a ver. Yes, teacher. I remember that a few years ago, people go to the, people went to the cyber to use the computer mm -hmm. or chatting with another people and, or playing video games. And now, Uh, in these days, people just have to stay at home to chat with another people or play video games with WhatsApp. I remember a few years ago, we used Messenger in the computer. Mm -hmm. And now we use WhatsApp uh, or Telegram. And I think that uh, in the future or in uh, five years, we we will use, um, we will uh, communicate with another person with holograms or we mm -hmm. we could, we will um, move to another place with teletransportation or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yes, very good, Isaac. Thank you. Like, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's something that could happen. We never know, right? I mean, technology is uh, making so many advances each day. So, I mean, anything is possible, right? <laughs> We may be able to do that sometime, someday. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, Isaac. Uh, we can, like, tele teleport. I think that that's the word. I think that that's the word. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that that's it. Bueno, entonces, muy bien. Isaac dice, bueno, hace algunos años eh, íbamos a los cibers para utilizar las computadoras, para conversar con la gente. Estos días nosotros nos quedamos en la casa, es cierto, ¿verdad? Eh, yo todavía recuerdo que cuando yo estaba en la escuela, pues tenía que ir a, la, a, a un ciber, porque no tenía una computadora. Y allí pues hacía mis tareas, muchas veces perdía el tiempo <risa> viendo videos de YouTube, cosas así. Eh, y pues ahora ya todo se puede hacer desde de, de la casa. Y pudiera ser que en el futuro tengamos tecnología más avanzada. De hecho, creo que, no sé si ustedes escucharon acerca de eso de, de, ¿cómo se llamaba? Del metaverso, que al final pues no, no resultó muy bien. Pero era como esa, por así decirlo, como esa idea de tener un, un mundo como virtual, en el cual nosotros pudiéramos entrar y que fuera un poco más realista y todo eso. Entonces ya hay como esos intentos de querer hacer ese tipo de cosas. Entonces sí, muy bien, ¿verdad? Ahí vamos como... So very good job, guys. We are talking about all these different things that about things that happened in the past, things that happened today or are happening today, and also things that may happen in the future, right? So you guys are doing a great job. And I would like for you guys to think about it a little more. Maybe you can have more examples that you can think of and we can discuss those examples uh, tomorrow, right? Because I think that we didn't have the opportunity to hear all of you. Uh, maybe somebody else wanted to participate. So uh, I think that we can do that tomorrow, right? Bueno, mañana vamos a seguir con esta parte, guys, porque ya casi se nos acabó el tiempo, de hecho. Así que no se preocupen si ustedes tenían, eh, querían participar el día de hoy, pues lo vamos a hacer mañana. Necesitamos practicar más y les agradezco por los que están participando. Muchas gracias, de verdad. Mañana vamos a seguir con esto. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. Por ahora, anything that you would like to say? Right, guys. So if we don't have any questions uh, for today, then um, I hope you guys have a great evening and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye teacher. Guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.